you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Erin of Emerald Erin, and in today's video, I wanna show you how to turn my Geordie bralette into a Geordie bikini. So this video is gonna focus on all of the steps that are different to turn your Geordie bralette into a Geordie bikini. So we're gonna be using the foam version of the pattern, and you can follow along with all the instructions that come with the pattern, or in my previous video that showed you how to make every version of the Geordie, and then you can see in this video the specific steps that are gonna be different to make it into a bikini. So you'll need to start off with some swimwear fabric, and you need about 0.35 meters of swimwear fabric. You need it to cover your cups, and you're going to be making your band and covering your swimwear straps out of it. Next, you need some foam. I really like this microfiber laminated foam. It's nice and thin and great for swimwear. Um, next, you will need some swimwear elastic, and this is a 3 8 of an inch swimwear elastic. I really like this elastic specifically, and um, this tutorial is for a 3 8 inch wide one, so I recommend getting some of that. Then you're going to need some rings, two half inch rings, and finally a one inch G-hook closure for the back. You also need the pattern pieces. You're going to need the inner and the outer cup pattern piece. And along the bottom, you're gonna make a small modification. So in the typical pattern, it has a half inch um, elastic allowance at the bottom where you overlap it with the band, but we only need a 3 8 of an inch wide one. So we're gonna shave off just a little bit from the bottom so it's 3 8 of an inch instead of the usual half inch. So you're gonna cut your pattern pieces out like normal. You're gonna cut your foam out with your foam pattern piece and your outer swimmer fabric with your fabric piece. And you wanna make sure you do it without the elastic allowance on the outside. And then you're going to need to cut out some binding and you need to cut out enough binding to cover the edges of your cups and you also need to cut out enough to cover your swimwear straps and this binding should be about one and a half inches wide. The last thing that you're going to need to cut out is the band and you want to cut this out as a strip of swimwear fabric one and three quarters of an inch wide and the length is going to be determined by your band size so you want to look at your pattern instructions see what your band length is and add two inches to that and the two inches is going to allow for the turn under at the end when we attach the g hook so you'll also notice that you don't need a hook and eye, you don't need your strap elastic, and you don't need your wide band to make this version of the pattern. You're gonna sew up your cups, just like I showed in my last tutorial on sewing the Geordie bralette, and this is the foam version, so follow the instructions for the foam version of this pattern. And you can see that I've sewn the inner foam layer to the outer layer, basted it to the outer layer on the outside. The next step is finishing the edges of these cups. And in the typical bralette pattern, you finish them with fold over elastic. But for swimwear, I like to finish them with a self binding because it keeps it all in the same color and look and is super cute. So just like in the other version of the pattern, you're going to start with the inner edge of your inner cup and you want to sew with the binding right side against the right side of your cup. I like to sew this step with a zigzag stitch and I like to line my presser foot edge up with the edge of the, um, of the fabric and that makes my binding about a quarter inch wide which is around what I'm looking for. Once you've sewn your first pass of the binding, your next step is going to be to take your fabric and wrap it around to the wrong side of your cup, binding it around the edge, and then you want to pin it in place. Once it's all pinned down, you're going to do a second pass of zigzag stitches, and I like to do that with the right side of my fabric facing up, and you want to stay on the binding with your stitches, but close to your previous seam. Now you can see what the binding is gonna look like from the front, and in the back, we're just gonna trim away any excess fabric left on the other side of your stitches. Then you're gonna repeat all of these same steps on your outer cup, the edge of your outer cup, except the only difference is you wanna leave a little tail of extra at the very top where you're gonna attach your strap. Now that your cups are all ready to go, the next step is gonna be working on the band. 
And the first thing that you want to do is fold your band in half to find the center front and you're going to mark that with a pin. And then you want to pin your band to your cups with right sides together. You'll want to pin your cups so that they're touching at the center front. Once you have your cups pinned to your band, you're going to sew all along the edge of the band and you want to sew your swimwear elastic along this edge as well. So you're going to do that using a zigzag stitch, keeping close to that inside edge of the elastic. I like to sew this in one long pass. You're gonna go over your cups and you're going to sew all the way along the whole length of your band. Next, you're gonna do a second pass of stitching on your elastic and you're gonna flip it in towards your band so that it's sandwiched in between two layers of fabric so it looks nice and finished on the inside and on the outside. And again, you're gonna sew all the way along the edge of your band, over your cups, all the way to the other end. And when you finish that, you're going to do the same thing on the bottom edge of the band with your elastic and two passes of stitching. When you finish this, your band is almost complete. So now that the cups and the band are complete, we're going to make some swimwear straps. For the swimwear straps, you want to use the same binding that we used to cover the edge of the cup, so the one and a half inch wide binding. And you'll need about a meter of binding and swimwear elastic for your straps. To sew your swimwear straps, you wanna place your swimwear elastic on the edge of your binding and you want the right side of the fabric facing down. You're gonna sew your elastic with a zigzag stitch right along the center of the elastic all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to fold your elastic in towards your binding twice so that it's fully wrapped in the binding. And you're going to stitch that down again using a zigzag stitch and you want to go right down the center of the elastic once again and you want to pull that little excess um, bit of fabric tight just to make sure that it's wrapped all nice and smooth. Once you're finished, you can cut away any of the excess swimmer fabric that is sticking out and your straps are finished. So now it's time for the finishing touches and you're going to sew your ring to the tab that you left at the top of your cup and you're going to sew your swimwear strap into that ring as well and you're going to use a simple straight stitch for this. You also want to sew your G-hook onto your back band. To do that, you want to sew your G-hook to the right side of your band and you're going to thread it through the end of your band overlapping the band by one inch. So there's a one inch turn under that we allowed for there. And you wanna make sure when you do that, that the opening of your G-hook is pointing down. Then on the other side of your band, you're going to fold your band in by one inch, that one inch turn under again, and stitch that down so that you create the loop to catch your G-hook with. Once those are all sewn with a simple straight stitch, your bikini top is almost finished. The last step will be attaching your straps. And you don't even have to attach your straps. You could leave this simply as a halter. That's what I've done with this style and I really like that. Or you can crisscross them in the back. Um, I recommend having half a meter of strap for each side. And then you can really play around with them, do whatever you want, pin them on yourself so you can feel what's the most comfortable and whatever style you prefer the most. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe down below for more content. And until next time.